Okay, in the second of our short series of videos looking at aspects of theory of the firm, let's spend a few minutes thinking about the shutdown decision for a business. This is a key decision that businesses often have to make. Do they close down temporarily or do they shut down a business completely? Do they leave a market? Often in tough economic times during a recession, during a pandemic, the shutdown point or the shutdown price becomes a relevant point of analysis for students. Now, in the short run, a firm will continue to supply in theory, providing the price per unit is greater than or equal to their average variable cost. In other words, the variable cost divided by output, the variable cost per unit. So providing the price is at least equal to the average variable cost, a firm will tend to stay in the market, even if it's making a loss, because it's making at least some contribution to covering the fixed cost of production. And we're going to assume here that if you shut down production, if you close down a plant or, or uh, just basically mothball everything, then you lose the fixed costs because, of course, those are costs you have to pay even if output is zero. So the shutdown price is often appears in multiple choice questions for lots of different examples. In a competitive market is where the price is equal to the minimum of average variable cost. So on the diagram here, P1, that's quite a high price, and that price is sufficient, can you see, just to cover all costs, average cost per unit. By the way, the gap between average cost and average variable cost here is the fixed cost per unit. So P1, uh, the normal profits can be made at that price. You can cover your costs. At P2, while that price is just sufficient, at the, uh, that point where MC cuts AVC, it's just enough for firms to cover their variable costs. And they will supply to the market in the short run, provided that the price is greater than P2. That effectively then the marginal cost curve becomes the supply curve for a firm. But if the price is really low, it could be there's been a collapse in demand in the market. It could be there's been a deep recession driving the price down. Of course, in this market, the firm is a price taker. Now at P3, they cannot cover their variable costs. If we take an output level, let's say Q1, at Q1, they're getting price P3. The average cost is AC1, so therefore they're making a big loss. The price is well below average cost, and I'll shade in for you there the area of loss. If they were to shut down, however, they wouldn't incur the variable cost. They'd have to just pay the fixed costs. And fixed cost is the difference or the gap between the average cost curve and the average variable cost curve. So if they were to shut down, the loss would fall to this area here. So this is slightly less of a loss and therefore it makes sense to, to shut down production. Let's just go through this again. If they carry on producing, that's the loss. Whoops. If they carry on producing, that's the loss. If they, carry, if they shut down production, there's the loss. The loss will be lower. They lose the fixed costs, but in this situation, the firm would shut down production. The bottom line is that they need to have at the price of at least P2 to justify continuing in the market in the short term. You've got to cover your variable costs. However, in the long run, a business needs to make at least normal profit. And uh, because we include normal profit in the average cost of a firm, the opportunity cost of capital invested in a business, you cover your costs and you make normal profit where price equals average cost. And that's the long run shutdown decision. Firms, of course, can survive while making a loss because often managers are not necessarily looking to maximise profit or the, the market downturn could be seen as temporary. If you're involved in hospitality or travel or other industries affected by the pandemic, hopefully, as things get back to normal, you can drive your revenues and, and recover some, some profit going forward. And of course, you may be in more than one market, in which case a loss in one industry or one sector might be cross-subsidised by making good profits in another sector. So these are important decisions. Just a few weeks ago, uh, the South Korean electronics manufacturer LG decided to close the shop to leave the global smartphone industry and concentrate its resources on other on other growing businesses, including supplying parts for electric vehicles. So LG decided, it's a long run decision, 
to pull out of the mobile phone market. And of course, during the pandemic and the recession, we've seen quite a few retail casualties, including the likes of Debenhams and uh, one or two other, or many other brands as well, that they've decided to leave the industry. Or some firms, of course, have closed down some loss-making shops. They've decided to shut down uh, some, some shops around the country. So there we go. The shutdown point is an important idea in economics. In the next video, in this little set uh, suite of four videos, we're going to take a quick look at the key pricing strategies of firms. Okay, thank you very much.